nice ride. I would love to go for a ride. Thank you. Wow. This is nice. This is my first drive in a big fest. I'm so excited for you. I am excited myself. This is really cool. Hey, Tuesday test drive. This is my friend Upa. Upa. Hi. Tuesday test drive. Lucky me today dealing with uh, VinFast, but also getting my friend Upa here to show me around. This is a VF? VF8. VF8, but also in the showroom you have a? VF9 VF9. And a VF8. Okay, yes. and today where we're actually at, we're not in your regular showroom, we're actually at Yorkdale Mall in Toronto. Uh, so you'll see a couple bits of footage here, and that's from inside the mall. But then you also have a location because we can't deliver our service, these vehicles here at Yorkdale Mall in Toronto, but that's you right. could go to pick up your vehicle at Mississauga. Mississauga, Oakville, or Guelph. Oh, okay, excellent. Three other locations. So technically speaking, you could go online and look up your VF8, much like many uh, other electric products out there. You can go and do it completely online. But if you just want to show up at the mall or at any of, at any of their locations, you can just do a, a regular walk-in, look around, test drive, get a and quote, experience the, the whole experience the vehicle. Absolutely. Cool. All right. Well, let's start experiencing this vehicle right now. So anyway, I'm all set up. I just press D and get going. Right? That's right. The brakes, the drive, and we're on. And we're all set. All right. Yeah. I've noticed most people who are transitioning from gas to electric mm -hmm. love the VF8, love the VinFast models because it's so much easier to transition. Really? Okay, yes. well that's funny because I was wondering how many of your customers are new to electric cars in general and how many are just like, you know, they're trading in an electric car for yet another electric car. We have both. Yeah. We have uh, electric vehicle users and we also have uh, a crowd of people who are actually looking to transition from gas to electric. Mm -hmm. So I would say we get both clientels and um, I've noticed that uh, it, it's an easy transition, especially for people who are driving gas vehicles currently Yeah, to drive these. Well, I can see that. I mean, if, if there's one thing I do love about the, the, the VF line uh, from VinFast is um, no offense to electric cars, they don't look like an electric car. No, they don't. And uh, the design is uh, very familiar. Mm -hmm. It's uh, they're, they're sleek cars, but they do look like cars, a traditional car. Right, right. And and also, as another mention to VinFast, as I was mentioning to a friend today, uh, VinFast has been around a while. It's not as new yes. as people think it is. Yes, correct? it's been around since 2017. And from 2019, um, they actually focus just on electric vehicles. Right, right. Okay, so I know for myself, when I first saw it, I was just like, wow, the fit and finish is really great for a car right. that's been built in a year or two. But that's not the case. The car has already been around as an ICE engine vehicle. Absolutely, that's it has. Right. And it's been designed by Pininfarina, so you might hmm. find um, a familiar feel to it. Yeah, well, it definitely that's has quite the look, and the interior is also really familiar. There's nothing out of place, the signal stocks are where they should be, the wiper stocks are where they should be, yes. which is a bit of a complaint of mine on some electric products, which are kind of like a new dimension of driving. 100%. You can just hop in this car and yes. get used to it right away. Totally. Uh, I mean, we also have a heads up display mm -hmm. instead of a gauge cluster. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, that kind of helps you keep your eye on the road. It's, it's actually focusing on the center display. It is. And it's a big center display. It's a beautiful center display. You can do quite a lot from here. And it, I got to say, actually sitting in front of it, or sitting behind the wheel rather, and just seeing mostly a clear screen, lots of view in front of me for a big uh, SUV, which is what this is. And I got my heads up display, which you were mentioning, I could change the color and a bunch of other oh, things yes. as well. You can position it. it based on, you know, uh, on your liking, you can choose the color. And if it bothers you, you can always switch it off. Okay. So what is it exactly that people are really liking about VinFest? Well, uh, there's so much that comes to mind, but mm. we'll keep this short okay. for time. <laughs> Good answer. Uh, the first thing I've noticed is that people love the price point. Yes, I can, I've can. i seen your yes. lease rates. They are fantastic. Thank you. So the uh, the, the VF8 is priced at $53,600. Mm -hmm. It's the starting price. And our plus trim is $59,200. So that's very affordable, very economical. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other thing I've noticed is people love the warranty on the vehicle. Mm -hmm. The warranty on the vehicle is 10 years or 200,000 kilometers, and the drivetrain warranty would be 10 years unlimited kilometers. And wow. people love that. Uh, that shows a lot of confidence, uh, confidence in the product, as does the lease rate and, and everything. So yes. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too surprised that customers are lining up for that as well. And as far as trim levels are concerned, so if I have, nowadays, I don't even like using the word base model because a base model has so much equipment. But what would be the difference between like the starting level model to the uh, fully fledged VF8? 
Okay, so the starting model is the VF8 Eco, mm -hmm. which is again priced at fifty three thousand six hundred, right, right. and the Plus, which is priced at fifty nine. 200 the major differences I would say are aesthetic differences aesthetic yes okay. the first difference you'd notice is the sunroof mm -hmm. the eco does not offer the sunroof you're obviously in the plus trim here obviously yeah and then uh, the wheels on the eco are 19 mm -hmm. while um, versus the plus which are 20 mm -hmm. and um, the and you can customize the interiors a lot more in the plus if, have you heard customers mention I guess the reaction from friends or people who see the vehicle oh yes they love the design uh, and they also like that it's equipped with dual motors, which makes it an all-wheel drive. Oh, okay, right. For that okay, price right. point, it's an excellent purchase. Nice. So you set yourself up with some winter tires, and yes. you're pretty good to go, I would say. It's perfect for Canada. Right. I guess it, well, perfect for Canada means it's got to have heated seats. So it has heated seats. It does seats. have Not heated seats. Yes. Heated and ventilated seats. Heated and ventilated. Okay, well, that's perfect. If I were a parent, I got a lot of running around to do. What kind of what kind of range by kilometer do you think I would be able to achieve in a in yes like a, on average? The VF8 uh, offers up to 425 kilometers, mm -hmm. and we also offer regenerative braking. So oh, excellent. Yes. Okay, I think I'm feeling the regenerative braking yeah. right now. Actually, it's kind it's of it's a fun drive. It's kind of well, it's something like it's not really that far off of what normally you would experience, and I would mm -hmm. say it's kind of like for those people who've uh, ever experienced stop-start features. They take a minute, a minute to get used to, you know what I mean? Because you come to an intersection, you're making a left, you come to a stop, the car shuts off. You basically have to learn when to release the brake so that the engine boots up so you can make your left. And I think, I find that the regen braking is one of those things that I think just takes a little bit of getting used to. But if you're timing it such that when you're, when you're releasing your foot from the gas pedal, you're gonna begin braking. Yes. I think you're good to go. Like, it's really not that difficult. I agree. I think um, I've noticed people adapt to it quite quickly, especially mm -hmm. with this vehicle. It's like using a new cell phone. Oh, yeah, a that's a good way to put it, like using a new cell phone. Well, nowadays cars are basically one big cell phone. It is, <laughs> especially with the big center, center display. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, thank you very, very much for the drive. This was fabulous. I appreciate it. Thank we you got so much. we got one more of these to do though. Don't you have another vehicle that we have? You had one in the uh, showroom, the VF9. The VF9, yes. The VF9 uh, test drive should be starting soon, and I would say keep an eye out on the website for more information on that. All right. Well, when we get a VF9, guess who's coming back for a Tuesday test drive? Would you take me for another ride? Absolutely. I'd love to. It's a pleasure. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Yuta. Thank this you was so a much. this was a blast. <laughs>